My name is TJ and behind me is my 2015 WRX base. As you can tell by the title of the video, after today the Subaru should be pretty much back to 100% besides the fact that I have to get all new lug nuts because of what happened while I was adjusting the coilovers one day. This is the lug nut that broke off the stud. As you can see it is still in there. The broken stud is actually on this front left wheel. So there indeed is the broken stud right there. So I am going to change that today. So you're probably thinking to yourself, why the heck is he trying to mess with this car again when he just had to spend all that money at the dealership? It is because I do not care and I am just gonna go at it again. There's no sensors involved with this. It's literally just taking off the brake caliper taking off the rotor and then hammering out the broken stud. So I think I should be good. I spent all last night just looking up videos on how to do this and it looks pretty straightforward. I know I've said that about the coilovers, but this is literally pretty straightforward. There's like two bolts that you unscrew and then you just take off the caliper, you take off the brake rotor and you should be able to hammer it out just fine. So these are the tools I'm working with. I definitely got my breaker bar, my new stud, and the new lug nut that I'm probably just going to put on for now so I'm not missing a lug nut. And then I have my lock key right here because I think I still have a lock on the wheel. And then I have just my little Walmart toolbox that I got for like $20, $25 and it is a lifesaver. It's really a good deal. Of course the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to jack up the car and we are going to take this front wheel off. So first I'm going to obviously break the lug nuts loose before we get in the air. up I decided to use a jack stand right there just to have some extra support and just in case the jack dropped so you never know you can never be too safe when you're working on your car so now I'm gonna take off the lug nuts and we can get started So there's two bolts, one on the top of the back of the brake caliper and then one on the bottom. So I just gotta find the right wrench to take those out and then I could slide this brake caliper off. So about 10 minutes after trying the breaker bar, but I wasn't getting enough room and then I tried the ratchet and nothing was working. I finally got a 17 millimeter wrench, put it on the nut and then I hit this side with it to loosen it up and that got them loose pretty quick. So I would recommend doing that and maybe spraying some WD-40 on them before you start working with them. Tight. 
All right, we got it off, and we're just gonna rest it on this bar back here. So there's no stress on the brake line. Now on to getting this brake rotor off. So I've been going at this now for about 30 minutes. I finally figured out how to take the brake rotor off. You have a bolt right here that's holding in your brake line to this bracket right there. And you simply just take that off and it's the perfect thread to just ratchet in. You have these two holes right here and right here. And you just choose one, I chose the right one, and you literally just ratchet it in. And once you get it far enough, it'll just pop the rotor right off as you can see. So finally we made some progress. Brake rotor is off. And as you can tell, I just put my jack right here to support my caliper because you really don't want to put any stress on the brake line. And now we pretty much just got to hammer the crap out of this one, the stud right here. And hopefully it comes out as easy as that. And then we can put the new one in. We got it out and my ears are freaking ringing. Holy crap, I think I went deaf. So now that we got the old one out, I'm gonna put the new one in and I'm gonna, it came with a, another lug nut, so I might end up just using this, but you have to like over torque it to make it go back into the, all right, so it looks like I'm gonna need some washers to take up the space between as far as the lug nut can go and then the space between that and then this. So that way we'll be able to torque the bolt and it will go through. All right guys, we have the ultimate DIY setup right here. So I didn't have any washers, so I'm using the end of this wrench and it's working perfectly. And then I'm using the breaker bar to hold this because this thing wants to rotate. And then I am just trying to tighten the lug nut on. You're, you're pretty much over torquing it so you can push the new stud through. So I'm just doing that right now and we are finally getting somewhere again. Got it in, finally. All right, the system that I figured out was every time you tried to tighten the new stud, the bore would just rotate with it. So what I figured out was if you put a jack stand to hold one of the studs, you could literally tighten it so easy. And the jack stand will just keep it from rotating. So I don't know how well you can see this, but there is literally no gap. And I got the new stud in perfectly. I used the wrench as my washers, as I said, because I didn't have any washers, so I just used one 12 millimeter wrench. I used the circle side. And as you could tell, I tightened it so much that the back of the lug nut is coming off because the stud is pushing through it. So that's great. I was gonna use this one, but I guess I won't be able to use it now. actually clean the rotor uh, as you can see I already just got some rubbing alcohol under microfiber and I just wipe it down just to get all the crap that I just put on it so now it's time to put on the brake caliper it's been about an hour and a half now and I'm pretty much done. I just gotta put the wheel back on and we'll be good to go. I went ahead and adjusted this coilover like tiny bit because the right side was a little lower, but after this, everything should be good.
finally done. As you can tell, I just went ahead and threw one of the stock lugs on there. It's only temporary until I can get some more lug nuts. I think I'm going to have to get some extended lug nuts because those are kind of hard to get into. And as you can tell, I have plenty of room for extended lug nuts. So I think I might get those for my next lug nuts. So the job is done. Well, I don't know how informative this was, but I hope one of you guys at least learned something about changing your studs out. Because I know I did. I thought it was going to be a simple process, but of course it took me like two hours to do this. But now, I'm going to go get some lunch. I probably look like crap, so I'm either going to go jump in the pool, or I'm going to go take a shower and get some lunch. And I might, I might wash the car today. It's supposed to rain the next few days, so... I don't know, but I might just go ahead and wash it anyway because it's pretty filthy. So today's Wednesday, May 31st, and this Saturday is the next Cars and Coffee, and I'll be going to that. I don't know if this video will be out before or after, so I'm just going to say I'm going to go to that just in case I put it out before. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and the like button for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.